Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 6, Lesson Number 16, the last lesson in this module. And tonight we will be solving word problems involving money. So let's take a look at a couple problems from tonight's homework, and I'll leave three, or, three or of, the, of the other problems for you to handle on your own. Let's take a look at problem number two. We're going to use our read, draw, and write strategy in my classroom, so I'm going to put that off to the side to remind us, and let's go ahead with the reading. Mei Ling needed... $5.35 to buy a ticket to a show, okay? In her wallet, she found $2 bills, 11 dimes, and 5 pennies. How much more money does Mei Ling need to buy a ticket? Okay, so we know how much money she has, although it's, I have to say, expressed in this very unusual way, right? Where it's given to sort of in the money version of unit form. And we know what she's going to need, $5.35, so we're looking for the difference there. So let's start first figure out what she actually has and how much money she has versus how many of the actual units. Let's see. She has $2 bills, so that's $2 bills. I'm going to say that that's 2 like that. She also has 11 dimes. Oh, boy, 11 dimes. Well, let's see. 10 dimes would make a dollar, so I think 11 dimes would make a dollar and 10 cents, okay? And then she has 5 pennies. Okay, that's easy. That's no tenths, but five hundredths, right? Five pennies. Excellent. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add those things up. Let's see, I'm going to add my smallest units first here, my hundredths. So that's five, zero, and zero, so that's five. Then I'm going to add my tenths, zero, one, zero, so that's just one. And then I'm going to add my ones, zero, one, and two, so that's three. Okay, all right, so that's good. Now I know how much she started with. She started with $3.15. So Mei Ling started off with $3.15, $3.15, but she needs a total of $5.35, $5.35 in order to get to the show. So what we're interested in is this amount right here, right? This amount. How big is this amount? How, big is it? How much more does she need? All right. Well, one of the ways that we can do that is we can do sort of an arrow method. We can say, look, she started off with $3.15. Great. Now, we know she's going to eventually need to get all the way over here to $5.35. But let's just start adding to it what we would, sort of convenient numbers to, to figure out what she needs. Let's say, how much would she need to get from $3.15 up to, let's say, an even $4? Okay. Well, let's see. She would. She's got fifteen cents, so she would need. Let's see. Um, let's see. She'd need 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 cents would get her up to eight to to ninety five cents. So we need eighty five cents. So I'm going to say that we would have if she added eighty five cents. Sorry, my pen is terrible there. I'm just going to erase that and start again. If we added 85 cents, we would get all the way to $4. Awesome. Now that's getting closer. Let's see. But she needs to end up with, let's see, $5.35. Okay, so we know she needs to get up to $5. Okay, so what will it take to get from $4 to $5? Well, that one's pretty easy, right? We're just going to add a dollar. And then she needs to get from $5 up to $5.35. Okay, well, that's simple enough. We'll get from $5 to 5 Oops to $5.35, right? And so what would we need to add to $5 to get to $5.35? Oh, we just need to add 35 cents. Okay, and now we can add up our arrows because that's the arrow method, right? We've got our whole dollar, we've got our whole dollar, we've got our 85 cents, and we've got our 35 cents, and that's how much she's gonna need. Now let's see, I'm going to do a breakdown here. I'm going to do a no little number bond, right? Because I'm noticing that 85 cents, if we just had 15 more cents over here, 15 more cents, we could make another whole dollar. And if we started with our number bond with 35 cents and we put 15 cents over here, that would leave 20 cents remaining. So now I've got one dollar here, I've made my other dollar here, and I've got my last remaining chunk here. And I think that that means she needs two dollars and 20 cents. $2.20. And now, does that make sense? Just in, in terms of estimation, she started off with about $3. 
we're going to add to her a little bit more than $2, and that's going to supposed to get her around $5. Yeah, that actually makes sense, right? 3 and something plus 2 and something is going to make 5 and something. That seems pretty good. And by this point, sorry, I didn't check off the drawing as we did it. We've done our read draw part. We have to do our write part. How much money does Mei Ling need to buy a ticket was the question right up here. So I would say she needs $2.20. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem from tonight's homework. Problem number four. A package of mechanical pencils costs $4.99. A package of pens costs twice as much as the package of pencils. How much do a package of pens and a package of pencils cost together? Oh, okay. Let's see. So we know, let's see, we've done our reading. Awesome. We've got our drawing. And we've got our writing to go. Boy, oh boy, that was a sloppy D. Let's try that again. Let's try a drawing. Mechanical pencils. All right, I'm going to abbreviate that. Mechanical pencils cost, let's see, $4.99. Okay. A package of pens costs twice as much. Oh, okay. Well, so they cost not $4.99, but $4.99 plus another $4.99. Okay, and then the question, let's see, what's being asked? How much do a package of pens and a package of pencils cost together? Oh, well, okay, so this is our question, right? What is the total of pencils and pens? Well, there's a bunch of different ways that we can do this, right? But let's think of, uh, let's think if we can do some simple uh, arithmetic, some simple adding, adding ways, sorry. Um, let's look at the pens for a second. We have $4.99, so we've got $4.99 plus $4.99. Okay. Well, let's see. We could add our whole units together. That's pretty simple, right? We could add our 4 and our 4. So let's do that. Let's restate that as $8.99 plus 99 cents more. All right. Well, let's see. Maybe we can do something with our number bond, right? We have 99 cents. And you know, gosh, I got to say, this is so close to a dollar. What if we just broke off one penny? Let's see, we started with 99 cents here. We broke off one penny, so that would leave us with 98 cents, right? And now I think we can combine these $8.99 with that extra penny to make $9, and we'd have those 98 cents left. So now I think I can say that the cost of the pens is $9.98. That's two times how much the mechanical pencils are. And now we have an addition problem, right? We can do another addition problem because we're this is what we're really looking for. We're looking for the overall package of pens and pencils. So that tells us we're looking for $4.99 plus, what do we say? Oh, it's $9.98, $9.98. Okay, well, I think I'm going to do the same strategy, right? I can combine my whole numbers first. Well, that's 4 plus 9 is $13.99 plus 98 cents. And, you know, I'm thinking the same thing's going to work, right? I see 99 cents hanging out here again. I'm thinking just one more penny would be really helpful. And if I started with 98 cents and I broke off one here, I would have 97 cents over here. So now, in my last step here, I can combine $13.99 with that extra penny to make 14 whole dollars, and I still have 97 cents left. And that is my package of pens and pencils. and But you know what? I'm still not done because I have to do a write strategy. Um, I have to say the package cost $14.97. And that's the right part of my write strategy. Excellent. Read, draw, write. Read, draw, and then calculate, and then write. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again in module number seven. Take care.